Hey guys, this is Josh Valencia from Good Break Studios. Thanks for checking us out. Be sure to go to our website, www.goodbreakstudios.com. Check us out on Twitter by following at Good Break Studio. And check us out on Facebook. Just look us up, Good Break Studios. So um, we're going to be looking at the Avid Saturation knob today. Um, we're going to look at it on three sources, an overhead, um, some conga overheads, um, an acoustic guitar with some delay on it, and the violin. It's a pretty sweet plugin, so um, really, really self-explanatory. We you just have three saturation types um, just to go over each. The Keep It High actually focuses the saturation on the higher end of the of the spectrum here, so it'll only you know give all its magic juice to the higher end. The Keep It Neutral kind of spreads it evenly across the board, which is nice sometimes. And then the Keep It Low really focuses on the girth um, <clears throat> focuses on the meat of the spectrum. So like the low end, it, it really, you know, gives it its, its magic juju there. So let's go ahead and listen to this whole thing. Um, actually not this whole thing, just a snippet listening to the guitar, drum overheads and the violin. If I was on here, that would work. <laughs> So in general, everything does sound nice, um, at least I like it. So let's go ahead and jump in on the guitar head. We're looking at that instance of saturation knob right now. And um, I'm just gonna, you know, just kind of go cycle through each and juice them. Let's listen. So as you heard, it's a really, really nice kind of distortion on the keep it high because that's where most of the guitar lives and you are really tweaking the vast majority of the guitar. Now, if you were to keep it on neutral, you heard that it was a little more even keel, not as wild as keep it high. And then when we were when we were looking at the keep it low, it was really fat and chunky, um, not something that I'd use for this particular kind of mix. But, you know, in another application, it'd be, it'd be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and listen to it on a percussive uh, Congo overhead. I'm on the wrong instance. Let me jump to the right one. There you go. So personally, I like my overheads a little more crunchy but um this was really nice um the keep it neutral spread the distortion evenly the saturation excuse me evenly over the spectrum and it really kept it fat um, let me show you what it would be like without so it was really really clean um, the level is something that I could just change with a gain plugin. That's not an issue. It's what it does harmonically to the to the congas. It just gives them a little more depth in terms of like how thick the heads are. It just makes them sound like they're more present in your face. Something that I needed for this particular example. Let me go ahead and jump to the violin. This one is really interesting. So if you guys noticed, as I was cycling through the different, you know, saturation types, it was breaking up the violin in a completely different way because so much of the violin is in the upper register. You weren't necessarily hearing 
um, you know, you were hearing some distortion, but you were hearing it less and in a, and in a, in a totally different spot. So it's really, really nice. I liked it and keep it high. You could see that if I cycle through, this is the conga, I kind of backed off. And this is the uh, guitar, so I have a good bit. But, you know, I have much more on the violin because it just took it so much better, which is um, really, really nice to hear. So let's go ahead and listen to this whole thing without, and then I'll go ahead and engage the parts one by one. So now it's without. So I hope you guys liked the example of the video. Um, thanks for checking us out. I will post more of these. And uh, yep, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.